everybody! Welcome back to the Hubyet channel. My name is Nikki and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video today. So today we have got a handful of food on my table and that is because Army Navy has released Birria Foods. I only know Birria Tacos but they also have a Birria Naked Burrito and a Birria Quesadilla. This came out August 16 for me, for my location, but I think it came out a week earlier for other places in Manila like Makati or BGC. You know the fancy places? Yeah, they got it first. <laughs> to me, Army Navy has always been pricey. I don't always eat Army Navy because it's just, I could get the same kind of food for cheaper. Um, so when I saw this whole birria trend coming up on Army Navy, I was very curious because I know a handful of birria places here in Manila that sell birria tacos for much cheaper. Um, and they definitely serve more, so I'm just super curious if the price is worth it. Um, and I want to let you guys know what I think. But before we start indulging ourselves in some consomme and beef, I think this is beef, <laughs> please do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the Hubian channel, and ring that bell so you are notified every time we upload a brand new video. start with the taco because that's what I mean that's what I've tried before from different restaurants so we'll try the tacos first let's just move everything out of the way so according to the grab application the birria tacos are 313 pesos for how many is there there's only two which is kind of disappointing because I could get um, some birria tacos, like a box of three birria tacos for like two fifty. So safe to say I am already disappointed because of the price. But hey, we're gonna try it out first, see if it's worth the price. Because if it isn't, then I don't see myself buying this again. <laughs> Which is okay. <laughs> you know, if this is the kind of stuff you're into, go for it. But me personally, if I can get something of better quality for a cheaper price, why wouldn't I, right? So we're actually gonna try the consomme first. So the consomme normally is what they cook the beef in to make it super soft, um, and then you dip the tacos in it. I'm gonna try and drink it, just to see if it's good. Because I feel like, it smells good. <laughs> I feel like half of the experience of Miria is the consomme, so. It is heckin' oily though, so. <laughs> so, where are we? Trying the tacos. They also give me lime. I have three limes, so I would assume one lime for each uh, food item. So I'm gonna um, squeeze some lime onto the tacos and have my little. Oh. Is it obvious I'm panicking? <laughs> now, squeeze some lime, which is not coming out for some reason. But there we go. Squeezy, squeezy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it without the consomme first, um, just to see what it tastes like without, obviously. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers. say that I quite like the what's this called the panicking <laughs> tortilla I like it because it's um, normally with birria tacos they use tortillas and so some places it's really soft this one has like the right amount of crunch but it's still nice and chewy and soft that's pretty good now let's try it dipped in the consomme 
which is, this is where it gets messy and I regret wearing a white. on its own is actually not that bad. I've had better, way better, but it's good. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. If you're willing to spend 313 pesos on two tacos, go for it. I really do like the consomme as well. It tastes really good. Goes super well with the taco. I'm not sure what flavorings they used, but it definitely elevates the flavor of the taco itself. Um, but like I said, I, I wouldn't necessarily spend 300 on this because I know there are better ones out there. But it's... I would still eat it. <laughs> Just not spend on it again, probably. Next up, let's do the quesadilla. Let's take another line. Hopefully this squeezes out better. Um, and we'll try it with... I'm not going to bother opening these two tubs of consomme um, because I already have one open. I just, yeah. <laughs> so let's squeeze the line. This one had a bunch of stuff on top. I think a seed just flew across the room. <laughs> this one had a bunch of stuff on top, which is the first time I've seen it in a quesadilla. As you can see, the top of the box is really dirty. <laughs> The first time I've ever seen a quesadilla like this. Um, but let's take a little piece and again we'll try it without the consomme first. Oh my god! Wow! Mm. Already right off the bat I like this one more because it has cheese in it compared to the taco. I definitely like um cheese a lot. <laughs> So, I like this one a lot more. I'm trying it with the consomme now. I mean, it, it almost tastes the same. It is basically kind of the same as the taco, just with cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. And same as the taco, the consomme really elevates the flavor. It makes it more full and it intensifies the flavor of the meat itself. Mm. Yeah. Comparing the two, I would rather go for the quesadilla, to be honest. The quesadilla, however, is the most expensive item out of all the three. This on the Grab Food app is 379 pesos. It's probably the cheese. <laughs> so, um, it's definitely pricier. But I would rather go for this one. But let's see how the naked burrito is. So whenever I do feel like ordering from Army Navy, I always get the naked burrito because I love burritos, but then um, I don't really want the tortilla because I feel like that's a lot of carbs. <laughs> so I always get the chicken naked burrito. So I have quite high standards for this. Um, I can never squeeze it in properly. <laughs> I have quite high standards for this birria naked burrito, generally because it's what I always eat from Army Navy. I hope it doesn't disappoint. <laughs> um, and I don't know how I'm going to eat it with a consomme because it also comes with consomme. Um, so I guess I'm just going to... I don't want to pour it all over the naked burrito. So Oh! It comes on top of a massive... Well, not massive. It comes on top of these. <laughs> so it's not directly like on the on the rice and stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and have some rice and stuff. <laughs> okay. Cheers. <laughs> Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> okay. 
my problem is I have to get my biases out of my head because like I said I always get the chicken one so in my brain I'm like so confused like why does it not taste like chicken <laughs> but it's actually quite nice I I'm not surprised that um, the birria tastes really good with rice um, now I'm gonna take some consomme and put it on top maybe that'll Again, like it did with the other two, elevate the flavor. Yeah, I see it working. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, I've always been a sucker for rice and soup. <laughs> I love like sinigang and soup, nilaga, nilaga and soup. Sinigang and rice. So both. Um, I like to take the soup of the sinigang and just eat it with rice. That's just a thing that I really like. So I see this working. For me, at least. I see myself really like abusing the consomme and the rice. Especially because of the, the, the rice of Army Navy is already kind of flavored. So I see myself enjoying this a lot. However, I think in comparison to the quesadilla and the taco, I wouldn't go for this probably. Mm, because part of me feels like there's a lot going on. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there's a lot going on right now in this box. And it's like, it, there's too much. <laughs> there's just too much. But it, it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, I kind of like things to be straight to the point. Um. Yeah, there's just so many things going on that I can't really fully appreciate the flavor of anything. Mm. But it's good. If this is what you're into, go for it. This is the cheapest thing, apparently. So, the, the my bad. The tacos are 346 pesos. The quesadilla is 379 pesos. And the naked burrito is 313. So this is pricey. Hands down, I'm, this is this is straight up pricey. This one, for 313, maybe I'd be willing to buy it again. But for me, I think the tacos really are quite expensive. Um, especially considering the fact that I like the quesadilla better because there is cheese. <laughs> Not a really good reason, but that's just my taste preference. Um, would I recommend for you to try this? If you're willing to spend a little extra, go for it. It is decent quality. That is, I mean, Army Navy has always had really good quality food and I think that's why the prices are quite expensive. It's just that there are smaller restaurants out there, um, smaller businesses that sell uh, birria tacos and for me, they taste a lot better. Um, but then again, taste is subjective. That is up to you. I highly recommend you try it yourself so that you can uh, form your own opinion on it. But let me know in the comments down below if you have tried any of these birria items? Birria items? <laughs> From Army Navy. And if you haven't, are you willing to try it? Are you willing to spend 300 plus pesos on one of these? I, if I had to really recommend one, it would be the quesadilla. It is, however, the most expensive one. So, you know, taking my opinion with a grain of salt. Um, but also, if you have any birria taco recommendations, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, I hope you don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the Fabian channel, and ring that bell so you're notified every time we upload a brand new video. Again, my name is Nikki, and I'm so glad that I met you here today. Until the next video, bye!